G'day and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at November 7, 2025's Touch Grass Sudoku uh, by Clover. Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how are you doing? Uh, I don't know why Clover called this one Touch Grass. Uh, probably thinking about people on the internet. Uh, we are Gas, Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve Genuinely Approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times, two hats for a very fast time, one hat for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, uh, pardon me, I'm going to get into it. This is a uh, outside Sudoku. Ah, touch grass. That's it. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this one's built for speed. You can be very fast today if you want. Um, so, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. In addition, clues outside the grid, so 1, 4, 7, must appear in the first three cells given from that direction. So this has to be 1, 4, uh, this has to be 1, 4, and 7 in some combination. That's all that means. Uh, that's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, I think uh, I think even when I test solved this, I don't think I pen did one single pencil mark today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for a single pencil mark today as well. So let's go for it and let's see how I do. So across the top, I need one, four, seven, but I can just read that I need one, one, four, seven. Two, six, eight. This has to be two and this has to be eight because that matches up with these clues. Uh, six has to go there, and then we have three, five, and nine across the top. Uh, now, one and seven can't go in, uh, that cell, because we've already got one and seven in the row, so that's two. One, eight over here. One has to be in specifically this cell, because that's the only way you can have it in that one and that one. Uh, so one can't go here, one must go there, that's a seven. Uh, 8 has to be in one of these two cells, but if we look down here, we see 8 has to be in one of these three cells. So 8 can't go there, 8 has to be there. Now, uh, do I want to, uh, I can do this, uh, no, I'll just come down, we'll just do the symmetry. Uh, so, reading across 4, 5, 1, uh, 2, 7, and 8, and 9, 3, and 6. I'm just reading those and cross-referencing it with whichever one's down here it matches up. Uh, sorry, I'm always a little self-aware that I might be going a bit fast, but you know, you get that from time to time. All right, let's go over here. Two and three can't be in these two cells, but three has to be here, so that's this. Oh, sorry, hang on. That, that can't be two or three. Three has to be in that cell, so that has to be two. That's what I, uh, that's where I went weird there. And then, uh, three, six can't go in that cell, so this has to be an eight. Three's got to go there, and, uh, six got to go there. Now, three, six, and eight can't go in those three cells, and we already have a two, one, seven, so this is four, five, nine. This is a four. We know five has to go in one of those cells, so this is five, this is nine. Uh, three, six, eight left to place here. We can just write those in. Uh, we have six, eight, and three, and eight to tell us which way they go. Two is the only thing left to place in that row. Uh, now let's come down here. Two, one, seven, can't go in those three cells. And six, three, eight mean that this has to be four, five, and nine. Uh, this is nine. Five means that five can't go in one of those cells. So that's a five and a four. Eight can't go in that cell. So that's seven. That's eight. Uh, now, uh, ba, 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 ba. oh, where's six go? Six has to go there. I have the six there. Uh, do I have the seven? Yeah, I got the seven. Seven over there rules it out of that. So three, five, six along here. I do know enough to do that. That's three and three. So that has to be three. That's a five. That's a six. Uh, four and nine along there. Don't quite know that just yet. Uh, but I do know that this is a two. This is a four, which bounces back up. Give me four and nine. Uh, uh, one and two along there. We got the two, which is going to unwind that for us. Uh, four and nine, uh, to unwind that pair. Uh, one, five, seven along here. I don't quite know enough to do that just yet. So let's have a look at our one, two, six, see if we can't get something going. One and two put a six here. Two here puts a two and a one there. 
which means now one five one is enough to uh, unwind the whole thing. Now, uh, this is a four five pair. That's a four and a five. Uh, three and eight. Three can't go there, so that's three and eight. And seven and nine along there. Uh, can't quite do that just yet. But six has to go there. Uh, one and nine. One has to go like that. Now, uh, three, six, and eight. We can do all of that. That's uh, reading back up the top. Three, eight, six. We've got three, uh, six and eight and, three and six to tell us how to do that. Uh, four, five, nine. We can do the same, just reading it back down. Nine, five, four. We have four, five to give us the nine and four to unwind the four and five. And then going back up, one and two means that that's seven. Uh, we already have the one in this row, meaning that a two and a one. Uh, five, seven, nine, seven. Wonderful. Um, that's been Touch Grass by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.